Monday, everyone, and good evening. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. Hope you and yours had a good Easter weekend. Uh, the weather turned around some Sunday afternoon. It was pretty chilly outside, but at least the sun came out. But then we took a big turn in the wrong direction today. It was a nasty day out there with clouds, some snow showers, cold rain. No fun at all. Tomorrow will not be a whole lot better. If you think it's been pretty unsettled of late, you would certainly be correct. I, I just looked back since March 1st, since the start of meteorological spring. We've only had 17 completely 100% dry days since the beginning of March. The 30-year average through today's date, from March 1st through April 18th, is 25 days. So in other words, we've had eight fewer dry days than usual for the first half, roughly, of meteorological spring. So we had our nasty snow showers and rain today, but... You know, snow forecasts at this time of the year are tricky. We, we see snow at this time of the year sometimes, but kind of uh, talking about accumulations and impacts can be tricky business because of, well, the time of the year it is. The sun angle is a real big factor. Even though we had a thick deck of clouds today, the sun is still up there behind those clouds, and that incoming solar radiation is still a factor. Some of that radiation gets through the clouds, comes down to the ground, heats the ground, and makes it really difficult for snow to stick when it falls during the daylight hours this late in the season. If you think about it this way, the sun angle or the strength of the sun on today's date is the equivalent to August 24th. So it's strong and you know unless it really really comes down hard, um, it, it is tough to get snow to stick during daylight hours at this time of the year. Now that being said, it can happen if it comes down hard enough and we saw an example of that in some parts of northern Ohio earlier on today. Let me uh, actually bring up my snow query tool here and show you a couple of accumulations out here west of Cleveland closer to Lorraine and over towards Sandusky at two inches uh, two inches Norwalk area Berlin Heights up near the lake 3.1 inches of snow that was an example of it came down hard enough it overcame that strong April sun angle and uh, did manage to stick all right the last of our precipitation for a while anyway is going to pivot through over the next couple of hours. A couple of random raindrops and snowflakes, no big deal. Tomorrow's weather maker can be seen this evening on the water vapor imagery. Check out the swirl. If you look carefully out here, embedded in this yellow is this kind of swirling area. This is what we call an upper level low pressure system. This will pivot overhead tomorrow and lead to a pretty unsettled day and uh, another kind of nasty day to be out and about on our Tuesday. So not much goes on this evening. Now as we head deeper into the overnight towards tomorrow morning, some flurries will get going and a couple of snow showers. Now, a couple of these snow showers could, you know, drop down some small accumulations as we head towards daybreak tomorrow morning. There'll be a little lake effect and lake enhancement going on here. And this will be totally random and it's hard to say who, but someone could get their ground coated at the start of the day tomorrow. And maybe a couple of slick spots on particularly cold surfaces, bridges, overpasses, uh, you know, your car top and deck furniture, things like that. Uh, most roads will be okay, but here and there, there could be you know, some small accumulations at the start of the day for tomorrow. It's going to be a windy day tomorrow compared to today. The wind wasn't a huge story today, but tomorrow, the wind can gust to 30, 35 at times, creating wind chills mostly in the 20s to around 30 degrees. Yuck. Just, you know, no fun tomorrow. And as we get into the afternoon, kind of like today, Precipitation will be fairly low impact. I'm not expecting any accumulation tomorrow afternoon. There could be a rain shower in spots, a snowflake or two. Windy and nasty otherwise, with temperatures struggling to reach 40. Then we start to turn things around by Wednesday. High pressure slides to our east. We get into a return flow. So in other words, the wind comes back around to more of a southerly direction. This will send temperatures up into the 50s, still below average on Wednesday, but hey, that's a lot better than mostly in the 30s with wind chills in the 20s. Now we will have some wet weather to contend with on Thursday, but with a warm front passing through, the raindrops that we see on Thursday will be accompanied by temperatures in the lower 60s. So again, the improvement will continue late this week. And I can't say enough how nice the upcoming weekend is likely to be. Check this out. Spring fever finally makes its appearance on a weekend. We've had these chilly weekends of late, but this weekend, will be anything but 77 on Saturday, 82 on Sunday. And aside from maybe a stray shower early Saturday, I think the vast majority of the weekend will be dry. We'll be able to get out and enjoy this warmth. The next cold front comes in early next week and sends temperatures plummeting. I'm not real optimistic about 
the trends beyond our warm weekend. Uh, temperatures over the next several days really up and down, of course. But we go from 21 below average tomorrow to almost 20 above average by Sunday. And then check this out. Middle of next week, we're back down into the lower 50s, I think, for daytime highs. I did want to uh, talk briefly about uh, this evening's run of the European weeklies. Uh, what we're looking at here, let me zoom out on this a little bit. What we're looking at uh, here is, uh, let's, I'm not going to be able to show you this full screen. Basically what we're looking at though, let me go back to this, is what we call the Arctic Oscillation. This is a, a measure of the differences between high pressure and low pressure systems in the Northern Atlantic. Whenever the Arctic Oscillation, or the AO for short, is in the negative phase, that's when we have our forecast below this kind of center line, in other words, all this down here. Whenever it's in the negative phase, it tends to favor blocking in the Northern Atlantic. Blocking in the Northern Atlantic increases the chances that cooler air masses get shoved south across North America. The dates are a little hard to read down here at the bottom, but basically this is tonight's run of the European weeklies, which runs out 46 days. So this basically takes us to the end of May. Um, and look at how consistently negative the Arctic Oscillation is, is going to be, according to uh, the European weeklies, uh, through at least the first week to 10 days of May. So I'm not real optimistic that we're going to see sustained warmth. We're going to have these shots of warmth, like we're going to have this upcoming weekend. Maybe we'll have another one, one or two of those in the first half of May, but I think we're going to continue to struggle to see the pattern locking into a warm pattern for more than a couple of days at a time with this kind of a setup. Now, you'll notice our our model forecast here goes back towards kind of neutral-ish as we get into the longer range, so there is some, some hope that maybe the second half of May will feature more sustained warmth. But through the first week to 10 days, maybe even first half of May, I, I think we're going to continue in this kind of pattern we've been in for a lot of the spring. It comes in fits and starts. Uh, we, we have our couple of warm days, but then we're right back to that chillier pattern for another three or four or five days in a row. And, you know, I just don't see much model information, including tonight's run of the European weeklies, uh, to suggest that that pattern is going to change anytime real soon. But hey, we've got a great weekend ahead to enjoy. Let's Let's not focus on the negative too much. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. we got to get through tomorrow, and then things start to turn around. Thanks for watching Weather 4 Weather Geeks tonight. I'll see you right back here, same time, same place, on Tuesday.